all right guys so today's video is about how to set up your orimo wi-fi and this is a universal wi-fi that you can use which means you can use any network with it be it mtn hotel glow or any other network of your choice now the user manual that it comes with explain how you can actually set it up but for the sake of those that don't know or you don't have the user manual or you just want to know how to set it up completely i'm going to show you how you can do that without wasting much of your time let's get down to business all right the first thing to do here is to charge up your my five once you have it make sure it is fully charged i've shown you how to charge that in the unboxing video you can check up there in the cart above now the next thing to do is to get your sim card and your sd card so any network of your choice just make sure the network is readily available at your place that means your data provider or service provider has much network at your environment that will affect your speed and every other stuff like that the sd card is optional you can use sd card and you can decide not to use it so that depends on you for me i'll be showing you how to install the sd card too the next thing to do is to bring out your sd card and the sim card you have to use the second step of your sim card which is the micro okay you can see this is the second one not nano the micro okay and you have to open your my file like this you are going to see two ports there the first one is for the sd card while the second one is for the sim card tray there is a lot there you have to push it forward a bit so that it can unlock as you can hear a click and it's going to open up like this now you can install your sd card just place it there like this then you can lock it back slide it backward a bit now the second one is for the sim card push it forward a bit and open the sim card tray put your sim card this way into it and it's going to set as you can see there's a shape here that shows the shape of your sim card so just put it in that format and close it and click so it will lock it and you can see it is not coming out now the informations here you can use them and there is a paper that comes with it a sticker which you can use this is very useful you can paste it by your desk or by somewhere that you can still use it you know when you want to use it it's also available at the back of your router so it's readily available everywhere so you don't have to be finding it or opening your MiFi every now and then before you can check something or do something in case you need it now you install the battery which is the last thing make sure it's aligned with the connectors here okay and once you have done that you can now close the lid now you have complete the first setup the next thing to do is to switch on your orimo my file so you are going to press hold this button here and it's going to come on when it comes on you are going to see four led here You're going to see the led indicator their status and description on how you can get to know what the MiFi is saying to you at each point in time please note that there are two ways you can connect this arrival MiFi to your phone you can use the app route or you can use the web-based route so here i'm going to show you both go to your wi-fi on your smartphone swipe this way and switch on your wi-fi okay I'm going to switch on my Wi-Fi and your phone is going to discover the Orimo OM100. Okay, as you can see, this is my here. So it's going to discover it. This is the name or default name that it comes with. So select that. And when you select that, it's going to tell you to enter the password. The password is on this leaflet. Okay, the password is this Wi-Fi key. Okay, so I'm going to input my password here. Once you input your password, select connect. And it's going to connect to that wi-fi okay as you can see it's checking the quality of the internet connection and you can see message drop in that means it is connected okay the next step to do is to go to your google play store if you are using an android phone like me you have to use the google play store to download translink you can see the translink scan code on the pack which is here you can also just go directly to google play store and search for translink which is this 
select it and install it on your smartphone now that we have our translate app installed on our phone the next thing is to open it once you open it you are going to see these terms and conditions so select agree when you select agree it's going to tell you a new device found which is the wi-fi so you select bind now when you select bind now you are going to see your upload speed and download speed provided you have data on it so if you don't have data on it it's just going to show you 00, 0 kilobyte per second okay you can see the battery level here you can see your wi-fi signal and your internet strength here you can see your data usage when you click on that it's going to show you the data that you have consumed so let's go back here is the network setting if you want to do network settings select that and it's going to show you some network settings that you can do as you wish now select back and here is the connected device here you can see how many devices are connected to your wi-fi now if i connect some other devices it's going to show up here now let's go back and here is sms maybe you want to send sms or compose sms you can use this portion just come here select this compose and input your message here when you input your message then put the recipient and you can send it okay so it's pretty easy to use and all these are under the my device tab here you can see me come here if you want to do some other settings concerning this orimo my file you can come here and do them here is the wi-fi management if you want to set the password and if you want to change some stuff you can come here and change it here is the anti-sneaking control in case you want to be notified that you have a new device connected you can come here and toggle this on and it's going to send you an sms anytime a device connects to your wi-fi all right so here are also quick control options that you can go through network optimization in case you are having issue you can also restart it you can power it off via the app you can restore it to default setting or factory setting using this option here and other things here if you want to change the display language you can come here and change the display language you can see we have english french quasali and some other language like that and common issue in case you have common issue about the router or the MiFi, you can come here and select that it's as easy as that and that is all for the translate app okay so now you have know all that the next thing to show you is how to use web-based user interface to use the web-based interface you can just go to your google chrome and open it up but i'm going to show you a shortcut here go to your wi-fi once again and select this get icon by the side and you are going to see manage router okay select manage router and it's going to take you directly to the web-based user interface which you can see here it's still the same thing when you type in 192.168.188.1 okay which you can see here in case you want to go directly you can just type it on your browser which is the ip address but you can see that it's just a shortcut you don't have to memorize that every now and then so here you have to enter the password the general or default password is admin you can see that on, on the sticker so just enter admin admin and select login and it's going to log into the user interface which you can see here this is pretty easy to follow up in case you want to know this user interface this will help you to maximize the potential of your wi-fi okay so you can see the sms here so if you want to send sms or you want to use it to buy data you can use the code to send message to your um, network provider and it's going to send it back make sure you recharge it and you can use it to buy data the next one is the phone book you can also store some phone contact on your myfi okay if you want to do that and here is the sd card this sd card i'm going to make a video on this separately so that you can know how to use the sd card as you can see it says sd card already exists and is available now so if you want to use it you can use it to share video photos or audio files um, on the same wi-fi okay with other users so i'm going to show you video on that in another video as in how to now the next one is advanced setting you can see the advanced setting tab here you are going to see your wi-fi performance settings i would recommend just for you to have a longer battery life 
make sure it is set to short wi-fi coverage as you can see here set it to short wi-fi coverage and also make sure it is at balance okay but if you don't want it if you want it to be at high speed and you want it to have long wi-fi coverage no problem this wi-fi can give you 2.4 giga hours and 5 giga hours okay so it is very very compatible with most devices that you have around you now another thing is if you want it to sleep in five minutes when there's nothing connected to it you can actually do the settings here as you can see there is never sleep option and there's two hours option here i just want five minutes in case so and you can now select apply and it's going to apply to it as you can see it says the current setting change may restart wi-fi continue anyway then you select yes and it's going to come up okay the settings will be applied to your wi-fi it's as easy as that and that is pretty much it under the advanced settings there are some other tabs that you can check out here if you want to check out i don't want this video to be too long so you can just go through that when you get your wi-fi so let's go back to the other options here the last but not the least is the quick setting okay the quick setting is just for you to set the apn you can check that yourself if you don't know these settings or you don't know how to use it please don't turn anything on here just leave it the way it is here if you want to disconnect the status you can come here and select disconnect and it's going to switch off the internet connection of your MiFi. okay and if you want to switch it on maybe you don't want people to use it they are connected to your wi-fi i just want to switch it on so that everybody will not have network you can come here and do the trick here and you can just leave the wi-fi on and they will think it is disconnected from the network provider okay so let's switch it on here again and it will be switched on now you can keep browsing here you can come to the settings here that is the network settings the network setting here you can do some mobile network setting if you want to do that and there are pretty much everything you need to know here is going to show you the connected devices and some other stuff like that so it is pretty much easy here and if you want to change your login detail here you can come here and do hit up here as you can see modify login password select that and you can change your password here I'm going to ask you for the current password which is admin and you can input your new password and confirm it and one more thing that i didn't tell you is the wps that is wi-fi protected setup here you can press this in case you want to share your wi-fi with somebody make sure the person turn on their wi-fi and you can press this and it's going to grant them connection into your wi-fi without needing to input your password if you're having any issue at all maybe your wi-fi is not connecting to your smartphone or you need to just reset it this is what you have to do you can do the manual or button reset on this wi-fi open up your wi-fi or wi-fi like this use the buckle point and open it up and when you open it up this way you are going to see a reset button down here you can now get something like a sim injector tool or a broom to press all that place for a few seconds and it's going to reset your wi-fi as you can see into that o and it's going to press you you are going to hear a click and it's going to reset your MiFi. So this is going to reset it to factory reset in case you're having issue with it and it's going to reset. So that's pretty much it. If you have any question, please let me know down there in the comment section and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Peace.